Maybe not the, not the best morning, I guess, after a loss, but uh, what went wrong? Um, real, it's hard to say, really. The, the effort was there. The three quarters, man, they're a really good side. And we're with them and matching it with them, if not beating them for a long time in the game. And just in the last quarter, they got on top of us, which is something we needed to fix. And fatigue sort of sets in. And that, like I said, they are a great side. And uh, they, they got away from us in the last. And letting a few goals through really late in the third quarter is something we sort of need to fix as well. But uh, the effort was there for three quarters, so we can work on that. What, what is it about the last quarter? Um Effort, mental, uh, out of legs, uh, yeah. Um, oh, I don't really know. It's hard to pinpoint, really. Uh, there was a few things in the last quarter, having seven defenders, and we didn't really need it, and we were down, and they just win the game. Little things like that we need to stay switched on for uh, for the whole game. So little things, but like I said, we can work on that sort of thing. Now, as long as the effort's there, that sort of stuff will come. High-scoring first quarter, uh, was that a bit of a... A knock, I guess, to those that say that uh, you've been playing some boring and defensive footy? Uh, oh, I don't think so. From a game like that, you can sort of take positives out of the game, and uh, things are starting to work now. Ross's game plan, we're all starting to understand now. So we can take positives out of that and understand now that we're starting to get Ross's game plan a little bit and starting to come together. And uh, your, uh, your own performance, you got dropped a couple of weeks ago. Did you sort of, have you set yourself to play some better footy? Well I have, yeah. I spoke to Ross afterwards and he sort of said a few simple things for me and just the maintaining 100% effort for the whole time and that was something, that was the main thing that he tried to really drill into me after that. Uh, missing a game and watching the derby from the sidelines afterwards he spoke to me and said what was it like to watch and I hated it, I hated every minute of it and that's the sort of thing he said, take that hunger into the game and uh, I think now going through something like that has really made me want to play really well for myself as well, but for the team really too. Is that why he dropped you? Was it just he didn't feel 100% effort? No, I wasn't really performing to my best ability really, but that was one thing that he really focused on for me. He said to maintain an effort for the entire game and the results will come. So that was probably the one thing he let me sort of have in my mind when I came back to play and that's sort of what I've been focusing on. Sorry mate, just move that way to you. That's it. Nick, uh, Nick Lower coming back in 30 touches and having a really good game, did that, does that take any of you by surprise? Uh, I don't think so. He's been playing really well in the waffle. He had a bit of an interrupted pre-season with a shoulder and then came back and did a quad and then Perth had a bye. So he had a bit of an up and down start to the season but he's been playing really well in the waffle recently and he's really hungry to play and I think it was fantastic for him to come out and play the way that he did. That's what he does. He gets in and under and wins the ball. and. It was fantastic for him. What about the team balance uh, with a fair few injuries last night? The few guys you know, were, were ready. and um, Do you feel that that can you know, set you up for the second half of the season, I guess? Or? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've got Hilly and a few of the guys that come back hopefully soon. And it's good to know that we can have Lowy come in off an interrupt pre-season, like I said, and play that way. And some of our younger guys as well. Hayden Crows is playing really well. Jesse's been good for us. So it is good to know that we've got players there. And when we've got some of our... So more experienced players coming back, it's fantastic for us. No bigger challenge. No bigger challenge um, this week now with Collingwood. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that had a fantastic win against West Coast, and that was like a really hard game. And uh, we take some confidence going over playing Richmond at the MCG and then beating St Kilda earlier in the season. So we do have confidence going over to play there, and that's the big stage, and that's where we really need to be playing well. So uh, yeah, we are confident going over. How do you, how do you beat them? Well. I think we've got to play like we did on the weekend. It's an effort thing for us. If we can do that, that three-quarter effort that we did for four quarters, that's going to go a long way. And then, obviously, we, they've got some star plays that we have to sort of try and nullify a little bit. But for us, it's playing our way and really trying to get over there and 100%. Funnily enough, you've actually been pretty good on the road this year, so you take confidence from that? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, going over early in the season on Friday night and playing St Kilda and getting a win and then playing Richmond at the MCG, which is a ground that we've struggled at you know, in the past. So, absolutely, we take some confidence out of it. It's not going to be easy by no stretch, but, yeah, we're happy to go over and really give it our all. How, how much did you miss the, uh, the zip of Hill and Ballantyne last night? Definitely helps. Those two are, when they're up and about, they're as good as anyone. Ballas getting under the skin of teams and Hilly running and breaking lines like he does is really important to us when they're both there. But like I said, it's good that we can have other guys to come in and fill a void there. Uh, it's obviously hard to fill both of them completely, but to come in and play the way that Lowy did and Griffo's been playing well too, it's really good. It's a bit bizarre. Your home record isn't as good as what it should be, I guess, in, in recent, and has been in recent years, but your away record's um, better. Like, is it a bit bizarre? 
Uh, a little bit. We probably played some good good sides at home. Uh, it is good though to get the wins away because that is always difficult if you can play well at home, which we have been for a long.